Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for another replay commentary brought to you by SSB StarCraft Sportsbook. My name is Rapier. And my name is Fajin, and today we'll be bring, bringing you a game from Battle.net on the Korean server between Slayer's Alicia, the Red Protoss, and uh, FXO Moonglade, the Blue uh, Zer. Sorry yes. about all the other. Uh, I, I just couldn't remember their names for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> so we do see. Ah, crap. You know, I'm trying to cut down on the we do see blah blah blah. Moonglade and Alicia have spawned cross position on Metalopolis, and who do you think that benefits the most? Well, uh, in this case, I would say the Zerg, but it looks like Alicia's doing an interesting opening. Look at that low ground pylon. That's yeah, I'm not sure what that saying. is about. Yeah. Maybe a maybe a forge expand, uh, but on this map, it's pretty hard because yeah, the, definitely the expansion is so wide open. But uh -huh. you know, he could do it. Just right. need more cannons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, then it starts to become uneconomical. I mean, yeah. But, you, you know, you're trying to match the Zerg in the economic game. Right. But yeah, I, I just really wanted to see a game from Alicia because he was playing so well in Code 8 today, so I just had to see this game. And uh -huh. we had to cast it, man. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you, do you actually know who wins this game? I have no idea. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Well, that's good, because I don't like casting with foreknowledge. I think it oh, ruins yeah, the no dynamic. Idea. I mean, Moonglade is the best player from Australia. So, well, the best player in Southeast server. Oh, this guy is Australian? Yeah, you didn't know Moonglade was Australian? I didn't. Australia. Uh, you know what? I'm not even going to try my, my <laughs> accent. Was <laughs> yeah, he, he is the best player in Southeast uh, Asia server. Right, okay. And um, Alicia has actually been one of the top players in the Korean server for quite a while. But oh, like Battle.net Korea? Yeah. yeah. Ah, the Korean servers. Yeah. So okay, all right, that's cool. Uh, yeah. So they're you they're both top the, uh, class players. Right. Do the Code S players play on Battle.net? Yeah, you can face them if you mm -hmm. are high enough in Korean ladder. Right. You got to be masters and you know and such. Yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it, you'll it's, get crushed. It's kind of weird that the ranking system that they use also kind of mirrors the the chess rankings because they have master grandmaster and yeah yeah they're they're doing the same thing they're making the grandmaster league and everything exactly and okay alicia has gotten his his natural up before moonglade so that is that is interesting we'll have to see if moonglade will try and do some early harass to try and contain or you know or maybe even break him, you know, with a Roach Rush? Cause that That's could true, you work. could do it. You can definitely break this with the Roach Rush. Because on this map especially, it's so wide open. You can actually snipe that Forge Yeah. without the cannon hitting you. Well, well the, the Photon Cannon has 7 range, Roach has 4 range. That'd be tough. That'd be close. I think you can. Uh, it's gonna... Well, at least the Gateway. You can definitely snipe the Gateway. Well... Yeah, yeah, I guess. Well, you could you could actually snipe the Nexus too. Well, yeah, that's true. But anyways, I mean, since you know you can actually just go around and take out the photon cannons, you don't need to snipe anything. Just take out the photon cannons. Well, that's and true. But Alicia has two photon cannons here, and I don't know, two is a little bit, two or three, so t too much. Right. And right now, Moonglade is getting his own natural up. Wow, he's actually yeah, this guy. Oh, wow, and, yeah, and that. he's going Three. for the goal. Yeah, he's going. Yeah, this for is what I'm talking about. Expand. So yeah, I think this is yeah. a high risk maneuver for Moonglade. If if well, Alicia has, has Alicia scouted that yet? No, no, he hasn't no. Seen it. He hasn't seen it. Yeah. Yeah, he is completely clueless as to if he doesn't see base. this one, this Moonglade might actually get really far ahead. Right. Yeah, and. Obviously, once that hatchery goes up, he should move the drones from the natural to the gold because it's just, you get so much more intake. Yeah, this is a smart play from Moonblade. Basically, he sees that Alicia, oh, you fast expanded and now you're teching? Oh, yeah. I'm just going to take another main base. Exactly, because so the thing is... You're not going to attack me anytime soon. You don't have any attacking units. Right, and, uh, and the point is, you can't expect to go two base, two base against a Protoss player and prevail. So what you either need to do is all in rush with roaches or out expand and Moonglade is choosing to do the latter. Yeah, Moonglade is playing great right here. I I think Alicia's not even gonna spot this for quite a while. Yeah, I mean I think Alicia is just going to be content to to just sit on this two base, you know, 
pro buff and then build a 200-200 army and just crush the Zerg player. That's true, that, that could possibly happen, but I'm not sure. Alicia is such a good decision maker, right. uh, I mean, he could definitely be, do something more interesting. I mean, today we saw him in the GSL Code A, uh -huh. and he just picked apart his opponent. It was awesome. Wow, look at this, 4 gate. I think it's going to be a rush. Huh. Interesting. I, I wonder why he chose to put the gateways there, though. Yeah, look, 4 gates and Twilight Console. Yeah. I think he just doesn't want Moonglade, like, the scouting overlord to see it. Right. Oh, yeah, that's true. But he has another overlord. I think he can see it with the other overlord. Yeah. Yeah, he sees one yeah, of the Yeah, he gateways. sees at least one gate. Yeah. And that sentry finally takes down that overlord over over Alicia's main and Yeah, I think this is what this is gonna be is a blink rush. Blink rush? Yeah. Yeah. With the fast twilight council like uh -huh. this, it's gonna be a blink rush. That's my prediction. Well he let's let's see. He his twilight council is up, but he still hasn't gotten anything from it yet. Okay. Well, you know, he might make me eat my words. <laughs> make <laughs> no, me no, bad. no, no. He is going blink. He's oh, yes. All That's right. what I'm talking about. If we take look a look at, at the economic report, we do see that Moonglade is ahead by sheer uh, by the fact that he has the gold expansion. He's mining the bejesus out of it. And right now, yeah, this this blink rush might not work at all if yeah. Moonglade just overpowers him with right. units. The thing is though, Moonglade needs to be very careful, he needs to scout. I, I think, you know, his overlord needs to be positioned closer to to his gold, because if he loses the gold then he's definitely behind at this point. Oh yeah, but I don't know if he's going to, he's got a Hydra right. already. Yeah. Okay, and... alright, he just sacrificed an overlord, he, d he does see that there are quite a few stalkers, so I think, I think right he, now he's gonna be safe to assume that this is a blink rush. Yeah. That was just pure stalkers. Uh -huh. All he does, all he needs to do right now is pull out a bunch of hydras. Yeah, and, and he is getting hydras and roaches. But right now, okay, Alicia is moving out. He has a detachment of about twelve okay. stalkers. Oh, and he, he just to found out the gold. He needs. To, oh wow, he, he's probably clicking on the mineral fields. And yeah, he's exactly. Thinking, and right, Omg, and right now, how long has this been up? Yeah. Right now, oh, he Oh, wow. Is, I don't know if that blink in was a good move. Yeah, definitely not. That was, that was pretty terrible. He should, he should have chosen to engage the Hydras when he still had superiority. And right now, I think Moonglade has the initiative and the advantage. Oh, this is looking pretty bad for Alicia. Yeah, exactly. I don't know what he's going to do here. Uh, it looks like he's going to choose to expand. Yeah, and of course, there is a Zergling right there to spot it, so... Yeah, Moonglade is aware of Moonglade that. Moonglade is playing excellent here. Yeah. I mean, we can see why he's the best player in the Southeast Asia server. And right now, it'll take about 90 seconds for this Nexus to go up, and about another 2 minutes to get saturation on that. In the same time, Moonglade can amass up a huge army, and probably overwhelm uh, Alicia before he can, you know, get some use out of that third base. I think that's what I would do if I were Moonglade. Yeah, Moonglade is so ahead right now. Yeah. He's at 140 supply compared to Alicia's 87. 87. That is pathetic. I mean, oh, and has what, to... what was Alicia trying to do with those two stalkers? They I don't going know. To do I don't know. I mean, right now, like just from the fact that he didn't find out that Moonglade took the gold in the beginning, yeah. that put him way far behind. Mm -hmm. I like, disagree going with this heavy stalker build because once uh, these roaches do have speed and the hydras do so much damage have insane dps we do see <coughs> excuse me alicia is moving out to the <laughs> <We> do see <laughs> yeah you know i gotta cut down on it because i think it's it's such a crutch for for announcers and yeah, oh take a look at this moonblade wow. has a small pack of zerglings just running around taking out uh well, just, I don't know, just harassing. Oh, wow, hey, look at his army. That's fearsome right there. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's like 58 units that there. That is a ton <laughs> of roaches. And right now, he has a much larger army. I think he should just move out right now. Yeah, he could just roll them over. Yeah, especially because he, he would only, ha he doesn't have any Colossi out on the field right now. Oh, wait, no, no, he does have one Colossus. Yeah, this is gonna be really bad for Alicia. Yeah. If Alicia holds this, that'll be the miracle of yeah. what I, I don't understand. It's impossible for Alicia to hold this, I yeah. think. Alright, and 
Both players are maneuvering their armies. This is going to be a very... Oh, take a look at that. Ooh, He's going nice, to lose. Nice Missouri. force field, though. Yeah, very nice force field. Moonglade is going to, going to have to move back. You know, they, I don't know. They I think he should just go. <laughs> just go. Really? Oh, well, you know, these force fields doing a really great job.